Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain you the effect of negative feedback on input and output resistances. Already we have discussed the basic uh, feedback topologies. There are uh, four topologies are used in designing the feedback amplifiers. The first one voltage series feedback or uh, series shunt feedback. The second one current series feedback or uh, series series feedback. The third one current shunt feedback or shunt series feedback. And the fourth one voltage shunt or shunt shunt feedback. So there are four topologies uh, we are going to see what is the effect of input and output resistance due to the negative feedback. In this chapter the university questions will be like this. Derive the expression for input and output impedances for voltage series feedback amplifier or current series feedback amplifier. So as a student how to answer this question there are uh, some points I will give you. The first point you have to draw the block diagram which represents voltage series feedback amplifier. Second you have to draw the equivalent Thevenin's equivalent circuit for finding input resistance for finding the input resistance, we, we have to see some uh, three points extra. First point, after drawing the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, first you have to find the expression for Vs, source voltage, using uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input side. Let it be uh, equation 1. Second thing, you have to find output voltage V0. Uh, for that um, the expression can be written as equation 2 you have to su substitute equation 2 in first equation so that you can get the input impedance value with feedback rif is equal to vs by ii for finding the output resistance you have to draw the equivalent circuit again once and uh, you have to do some modifications that means for finding the output resistance, usually the source voltage is kept as zero and the output is opened and, uh, and a physical uh, voltage source is applied in the output side. After applying the outp uh, output, uh, after applying the test voltage in the output side, uh, we can find the output resistance. Okay, uh, here we have to carry out some steps. I will describe you now. First thing, the external source voltage should be kept as zero and uh, RL load resistance should be disconnected. Second, you have to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law at the output and find the current I that can be the equation number one. Second, you have to find VA. So VA is the uh, input side voltage so that can be written as equation two. Now substitute equation 2 in 1, we get ROF. ROF is nothing but the output uh, resistance with feedback that can be represented as ROF is equal to V by I.